170, we've got the clear cut. In this break, we've got the cold clear cut. In this break. Beaverton, yeah. They've had some good articles actually lately. We've got number to 65 exclusive rookies auto. Liam Foodie. Liam Foodie. Honestly, I, I'm curious what the fallout of this is going to be. I'm very curious if this is going to affect any of the big signings, any of that stuff. For the Devils, Nolan Foot. Nice. Number to 25 for the Maple Leafs Canvas Signatures, Daryl Sittler. Number to 25 for the Maple Leafs, Daryl Sittler. Nice. Oh, nice again. Retro Tribute Auto Pareko for the Blues. The 5 6 cup one. Pareko. Champs Rookie Auto Bellows for the Islanders. All right, I got a fun question for you guys. And I'm actually very curious to see how you guys would respond to this. And I would very much appreciate it to have a thought before you respond and tell me whether you like the idea, hate the idea, and why you like it or hate it, or whether you don't care. For the Islanders, a 25, Josh Bailey. What would you guys think on a hypothetical? Let's say we have something like a lure, okay? Let's take a lure as the base example. Imagine if Upper Deck created in this year's allure an actual rookie, completely different uh, set, so st different style. Champs Auto. Sveshnikov for Carolina, but basically recreated an entire 15-16 allure in 2021 allure. So different set, different style, but it then had McDavid rookies on the back of the card that said 15-16 allure. Would you guys consider that a true rookie? Memoirs of Regula for the Hawks. So Bryson, you would not. Okay, so what's the reasoning you would not, out of curiosity? Ooh, nice. Twisted Tinsel Auto. Vasilevsky. Tampa Bay Lightning, Vasilevsky. Okay, so Bryson, I'm going to throw this one at you. What about update rookies? What about rookies that, for example, let's say... 
Larkin didn't get his signatures in for two years, so they put it in a product two years later. Memoirs for the LA Kings, Kaliev. Kaliev, LA Kings. Do I remember first year I put that card? I do, yeah. Woo, that might be a rare one. For the Rangers, base auto, Mark Messier. Mark Messier for the Rangers. So my thinking was, though, but why would that make it any different to you? If you could get a McDavid, in, a actual McDavid Allure rookie, because it was never done in 1516, why would that matter? If it's labeled 1516, it's McDavid. Cam Atkinson for the Blue Jackets, it has McDavid rookie year photo, all that stuff. For the Blue Jackets. I'm just kind of curious how many of you guys would be cool with that. Why would it devalue all their rookies? He doesn't have another Allure rookie, so you would never, you can't devalue it. Right? Dallas Stars, Della Andrea. Oh, don't, don't disagree with you, Golden, that, yeah, it, it is, you're trying to get more of it. I'm just saying... Do you think collectors would actually not pay for it, per se? We've got for the Montreal Canadiens, Romanov. Memoirs. Like, my thinking was, and again, here's another logic, guys, because again, I think this is different. I know you're slightly altering it. So I do understand there's differences. But then what's the difference from a buyback young gun? Everyone considers that a rookie. We've got for the San Jose Sharks, Lethanov. Uh, 